Hey everyone, I thought I would go ahead and just do a curriculum video. If you have already looked at my previous video that I just posted a few days ago on our homeschool room, you can see um, this stackable container that I purchased from Walmart and this is what holds our curriculum. So this is curriculum that we have not used yet. Um, it's going to be for when my son starts kindergarten this September, but I thought I would go ahead and show you what we bought, how much it cost, and all that good stuff. So we plan to do Bible, math, handwriting, phonics, vocab, piano, science, and geography. So in our Bible container, so in our Bible container, we have a Bible. Um, we have tons of Bibles already, but I figured I'd just go ahead and get another one from the Dollar Tree for a dollar. Um, we talk about God, Jesus, and the Bible throughout our day already, but I wanted something a little bit more formal that we could do in the mornings. Um, nothing too, too much. So I was looking to see what we could do and I came across something called Armor Your Children. And this is a program that I found for free. You just put in your email address and they will go ahead and send you the email link to print off. The only issue I had with it um, was that it is Mormon based. Most of the scripture was from the Bible. However, there was a couple scriptures and verses that were from the Book of Mormon and another book um, that I can't remember off the top of my head. So what I did is I went ahead and kind of created my own. I just, there was only a few um, from those books. So I just took those out and replaced them with verses from the Bible. So basically how it works is you have a theme each week. So let's take a look at the first one. So we have kindness for week one and there are 32 weeks that they gave you or 32 lesson plans. So one for each week. So the first week you will talk about kindness and you would read the verse here and you read it and discuss it with your children and then we plan to talk about how we can implement kindness into our lives. So that's kind of how this works. Um, on here, it starts with Wednesday and goes to Sunday and that's just for our preference. Um, those are the days we do homeschooling because my husband is off Monday and Tuesdays and we like to have those days open for appointments or just for hanging out with him. So we are going to be starting this in September. Um, so some of the themes that they have for each week is kindness, honesty, obedience, citizenship, thanksgiving, charity, and more. I put these in protective sheets and I need to figure a way. I was gonna put it in a folder, but the folder did not fit in this box. So I'm gonna have to probably just staple them together um, and make something out of it like that. Um, if you want the revised version that I have printed out that replaces the Book of Mormon um, with the Bible, then you can go ahead and go over to my blog and I have the link so you could just go ahead and print that out so it's already done for you. The only thing you'll need to do um, if you'd like is to go ahead and change the days of the week over here to Monday to Friday or however you plan to do your homeschooling days. Um, and so we're just going to, every time we read a passage from the Bible, we're going to go ahead and highlight it with this. So everything's already in there and ready to go. And like I said, this was free, so this did not cost us anything except for the dollar to purchase the Bible. 
So let's see if I can get this in here. And then for math, we decided to go ahead and purchase Math UC. I heard really great things about this. So I will go ahead and show you what comes with it. All right, so this is the Math UC Primer um, Student Workbook. The Student Workbook was $33. And I will go ahead and open this up for you and let you see kind of how this works here. Here's a couple pages just to show you really quickly. Okay. And um, so we bought this student workbook for $33. This is the instruction manual. This cost about $42. And I'll go ahead and open this up so you can see how this works. So it says lesson one and explains how they want you to teach lesson one, gives you little notes and examples. And, <coughs> excuse me. This is the instructional DVD. This actually came with the teacher's manual, so this was together. Um, we have not opened this yet, it's still in its packaging, um, but it ha it's supposed to have about 10 minute instruction where it teaches you the lesson of the day. And then it also came with this songbook and actually there was a CD, but I think I have the CD in my filing cabinet. So it has a, it has songs and a song book. And these are Christian based. Um, I don't know if you can see some of the words here. And this is just a fun activity. It allows children to learn their numbers, how to count by twos, and so forth. And this plus the CD cost $11. In order to use Matthew C, you also have to buy the manipulative blocks. Those are $80. And it came in this box right here. So I'll just go ahead and open it up. And the box used to be in these white containers and then it has the larger blocks over here. Um, but this container is just really big and I wanted something smaller so we went ahead. My husband has tons of fishing boxes around so these are about, uh, I think they're four to five dollars like at a local Walmart. Um, so you can just go ahead and put them in here and I went ahead and wrote Sharpie on them so I know where they go and I also wrote it on the back too. Uh, that's where we keep them and we just put them at the top of here. And then we have handwriting. For handwriting we chose to use handwriting without tears. Um, I heard really good things about that one as well. We went ahead and purchased the student instruction book and the teacher's guide. Um, I don't really know if you need the teacher's guide for this one specifically, um, but it really wasn't that expensive, so I just went ahead and bought it. So it has the letters and numbers for me. This cost about $9.50 for the student workbook. And let me see if I can open this. Let's go in here. You can kind of see some of the pages and lessons that are in here. Now it does ask you to purchase their slate chalkboard. 
Um, it's only $4.95 online, but the shipping on it was about $7. So I had, I, I didn't buy it. Um, I just felt like $13 was a lot for a tiny chalkboard. But what I did was I made my own using a chalkboard that I found at the Dollar Tree and just a piece of cardboard I had laying around that I hot glued. So now I have my own. And then we have the teacher's workbook for kindergarten. And this one also again just shows you how to teach each lesson, materials that you're gonna need, and just explains everything in detail for you. So let's put that back in here. And we also went ahead and purchased Hooked on Phonics as our phonics program. I did a, another review on this and we have not yet started this program, so I'm sorry for those who are waiting to see whether we liked it or not. Um, I feel like my son just was not quite ready for it, so we didn't do it. Um, I also was pregnant and had extremely bad morning sickness when we were getting ready to do this. Um, so we just said, you know what, we're going to just wait. He's not ready. I'm sick. And we decided to go ahead and just wait until... September to start doing this. Um, it comes, this is about half of the program, um, but I, I only put half in his box just to start off with now. And Hooked on Phonics retails for about $80, but I was able to get it on Amazon for less than $50, and that included the shipping. So I thought that was a pretty good deal. And so you have your workbook. Um, I'll keep it quick on this one because I already have the video for this. Um, so if you would like to see that, I will put the link in the description box. And for, let's see, for vocabulary, we are using Wordly Wise. And this is everything that came with Wordly Wise. We are using Wordly Wise 3000 Book K, and the, let's see, the student instruction book cost about $12, so that wasn't too bad, but the teacher's booklet cost $84, and you cannot use the student book without purchasing the teacher's manual, so that is something to keep in mind. Um, when you buy the teacher's manual, it also gives you these picture cards to go along with the lessons. And this is a pretty thick stack of cards. And then it also gives you these concept cards, which again have really large images. And these are very, very sturdy cards, so I don't think they're really going to have too much of a problem like breaking or kids tearing them apart too easily. So let's go ahead and open up the student book really quickly. And you can kind of take a glimpse at this. I like it because it's so colorful. I think the pages and the images are really cute. very colorful book and then let's go ahead and look at the teacher's resource book this is not something that we are going to do every day this right here explains how how they would like you to pace your lesson so the first week you do a lesson three days a week and then the second week you do a lesson four days a week so that part does um, seem to be like it's a little bit confusing. It'd be kind of nice if it was either three days or four days a week or every day of the week um, just to keep it, you know, a little easier in my head. 
um, I don't have to say, oh, are we doing four lessons this week or are we doing three lessons? Um, so that's the only kind of, I guess, complaint I would have about it at first glance. But the lessons on here are again, most everything um, that we've purchased, all the lessons tend to be about 15 to 20 minutes long. So they are not something that will keep um, them busy for extended periods of time. And at this age, they probably would get bored spending an extensive amount of time on one specific topic. And for piano, um, I thought it would be fun to try and teach my son how to read music. I play the piano, but I learned by ear, so I do not know how to read music. So I'm actually excited that maybe I'll learn to read music along with him. And this is called Piano is Easy, Piano by Letter. And it was $24.99, and that included shipping. And it comes with this spiral bound book that has a protective sheet. And the pages are like normal printer pages, so they are pretty thin. Let's see. So, basically, what they want you to do, let me go back here for a second, is they want you to put these stickers on your piano so that your child knows which keys are which and then you follow along with the lessons and the DVD to play the songs. Um, they also have a piano by number and um, I just went ahead and got the piano by letter because he's going to have to know the letters anyway and know which note is which so I thought it would just be one less step we had to learn later. Um, but it came with the book, it came with the instructional DVD, which the instructions on each lesson are only about, um, they're less than 10 minutes long, five to 10 minutes. And I can't remember off the top of my head how many lessons there are. There's about, I wanna say 34, 36 um, lessons contained in the DVD. And then it came with a audio CD that you can play along with as well. So for science and geography, these are currently empty. Um, our science and geography is going to be a lot less formal than our other curriculum. You can go ahead on my blog, I explain this a little bit further. But what we plan to do is for science and geography, we're going to have a monthly theme for each. So for science, we might say the theme might be the human body or weather. What we're gonna do is we're gonna go to the library and we are going to read a book each day that has to do with science. And we're gonna read one in the afternoons. And once a week, we're going to do a science experiment or an art project that has to do with that theme. And for geography, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna study um, a country for each month and read books throughout the month on that specific country. And for our weekly project, we're either gonna do an art project or maybe possibly bake something, a typical cuisine from that location or go visit a restaurant that provides cuisine from that specific location. And we also are going to um, enroll in the Little Passports monthly boxes. So they'll get that once a month and that is $14.95 per month. So that's what we're gonna be doing for science and geography. And that also kind of covers our art. And for PE, we are just going to go outside every day. Um, we have several local parks in the area that we already go to. Um, he's also gonna be enrolling in our rec centers month. They have a monthly sport and once a month, they will pick a sport like um, baseball. And for $10 a month, they can play with other kids and 
do that sport um, once a week for four weeks. So we're gonna sign him up for that because we really do not have many kids in our neighborhood. Um, and I feel kind of bad because he doesn't get to play with kids his age that much. So I want him to interact with other kids. I figured this will be a good way for him to do that and go ahead and get his exercise in. We also have something called Tiny Tots Playtime that is at our local rec center. Um, kids under five can play and they provide toys and bicycles and all these things for the kids to play with in the gym. And that's free that they do twice a week. So um, if you're looking for something to get your children involved in, go ahead and look at your local rec centers and see you know, what they have available. Um, or even your local libraries because they have so many amazing resources that you can use. So definitely go ahead and check that out. So for everything that we purchased, we probably spent about $350 and that does not include any art supplies, pens, pencils, paper, that kind of thing. So that is what we spent. Um, but 90% I would say of the material can be used again for other other children so we will see how it works out um, you do not have to spend this kind of money on homeschooling please don't look at our curriculum and um, let that deter you from doing homeschool if you really have it in your heart to homeschool you do not have to spend this kind of money we are fortunate that we are able to buy the curriculum to make it easier on myself um, especially with it being my first year I, I thought having the lessons already ready to go for me with a guide would be really helpful but again there are so many free resources that you can use please 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 don't let that deter you um, from homeschooling and if you have any questions at all please contact me um, you can find me on Instagram at fit fab Florida homeschool mom you can go ahead and go on my blog or just leave a comment in the comment box down below and I will do my best to answer your questions thank you guys so much for watching this video and I hope you enjoyed it thanks